We on five. Now I love I love the elderly, you know. Without them, there probably wouldn't be no me. But what I'm saying is, Granny, get your grandkids to come up to the mall and buy your stuff for you. Tripping out because you don't want to put in your PIN number for your debit card on the debit card machine. I'm not going to see you, Granny. Doing it. I don't get to see you. Your passcode. I'm saying if you owe, use cash. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're getting close to the end. We on number. Number four. <laughs> Whoops. I don't like it when you be like, hey, how you doing? And the other person be like, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm saying hi. I'm just speaking. You can just wave your hand. We're now on number. And this Three. is like, maybe this is just me. And it just really gets under my skin. I don't like being trapped in one place and have to ask other people what it's doing outside. It's raining, it's hot, cold, tornado, somebody shooting. I just need to know, okay, what's going on? Because I don't want to be trapped in there. That's the one thing that I really just don't like. If I can just go to my car a couple of times on my shift, that would be cool. Just so I can get some fresh air. Whatever. Number two. Man. But my number two thing about working at the Ma is like when people come in there with a natural born attitude already. They just mad because Jesus woke them up this morning. And maybe they wanted to sleep a little longer. They just mad. They mad like somebody them peach them behind their ear and it hurt real bad. Like somebody just put some glue in their shoe and they gotta feel it squish every time they walk or something. It's just mad. And I don't like when people bring that attitude to the counter. But yeah, I had this lady come up to the counter today. And she went and she got a shirt on sale for fourteen dollars. And she was like, Well, it was on the side that said nine ninety nine. And the rack, you got one rack right here. And you got another rack right here. They the same rack, just two different sides. And clearly the shirt just kind of like ended up somewhere. Like maybe it fell down. Somebody put it up on the wrong side, whatever. But we gave her the shirt for $10 anyway. And then she's like, what do y'all do military discount? Y'all, the shirt is $10.81. And so she, I give her the military discount. It's like $9.73. You say like a dollar and some change. And then she asked me to keep the hang. And I'm like, ma'am, we don't give you that. Well, when I used to come here, they gave me the hanger all the time. Apparently somebody wasn't doing their job. You're not supposed to have the hanger, and you ain't getting the hanger from me. All right? And then this lady has some nerve to tell me not to wrinkle up her shirt. This is what I did. You and your shirt. <laughs> Number one. Do not come into my job the last two minutes of operation. Okay? I like to go home. Oh, that's my part. <laughs> Anyway, do not come into my job the last 10 minutes of operation, okay? Because I'm ready to go home. Don't nobody come in your job the last two minutes and stay 30 minutes afterwards, okay? I'm ready to go home. I'm standing there with a pole in my hand, the music off, we turn it off, lights, leave tomorrow or during the week, and then you got from 10 to 9. It's a long time to get a V-neck. That's all I'm saying. 
I swear, next person come to my job, stay 30 minutes after, I'm gonna find out where you work at. Stay in your thing 45 minutes after y'all close. I swear, somebody else come in here and try to.